Here we go, here we go. Booyah Kasha! Me and my main woman are going to talk to you about drugs. But the good drugs, not the bad drugs. Am I doing it again? <laughs> my main, my main woman, my, the, main, my main bitch. woman here <laughs> who stands besides me all the time. Look at everybody. The skull mug and of the, beer. Which, please. Yeah. All right, well, let's do some wholesome entertainment now, okay? Ali G's going to talk about drugs. Oh, boy. Now, he's talking to a British drug expert. A drug expert? Oh, yeah. He, so He does drugs? And this guy, I don't think, has any idea <laughs> what Ali G is like. And I can already tell by the look on his face well, let's that see he's in he's for something here. So actually knowledgeable on yep. stuff. Okay. Remember, folks, you can click ahead if you don't want to watch us all. Oh, my God. If you just don't want to listen to him, you can click. Which probably they don't. <laughs> okay, here we go. Anyways. Here we go. We need the hoppies. We're going to be talking about the drug thing. <laughs> Let's start from over here. The drug I thing. I mean, that's Moroccan black, isn't it? Yeah. You have to be a drug <laughs> if you didn't know that. How much would this cost you on the street? About 60, 70 pounds. Aye, but you'd probably be getting ripped off if you had to pay that much. Yeah. I mean, you can get it cheaper than that. <laughs> okay. So what is the names for it? I mean, we all know it's called the Bionic, the Bomb, the Puff, yeah. the Black, the Herb, the Sensi, the Chronic, yeah. the Sweet Mary Jane, the Shit, the Bomb, the Ganja, the Reefer, the Bad, the Buddha, the Ongron, the Ill, the Maui Maui, the Method, the Pot, the Shake, the Stunt, the Stress, the Tire, the Wacky. Is there any other terms that parents should be aware of? <laughs> Puff, blow, lots of, lots of names, draw. And what is its effect? Uh, you can go paranoid, which means you think people or things are coming at you. Aye. Um, it sure. makes your heart race. Uh, your blood pressure can go low, so you can feel a bit woozy sometimes. It's got a, a lot of medical effects on the body. And is there any negative effects? <laughs> Well, those are negative effects, but uh, long term, there are negative effects. So, if you wanted to get started, would you recommend this as a good first step? I wouldn't recommend it, no. Oh my God. So, so far, this stuff is all legal. Uh, no, it's not. What, these things? No, but if you has got it in your home, then that is cool, isn't it? No, <laughs> it's, it's, it's all illegal. It's all against the law. But if you was using it for personal use or whatever, you was... It's mm -hmm. legal if you've got like half a kilo or something like that. <laughs> I wouldn't like to try that on. All right. What if it's your religion? Then you have to convince the court it's your religion. Yeah. But let's say someone yeah. don't look like a raster, but they's got a couple of Bob Marley records <laughs> and it's got one of those hats with dreads attached or whatever. Yeah. Do you think that that would get them off in a court? Don't think so. All right. And which drugs is class A? Class A drugs are the, well, mainly the, the heroin and cocaine type of drugs. Does Class A absolutely guarantee that there is better quality? <laughs> no, it has nothing to do with quality. We have total crap. Okay. <laughs> so what is these? <laughs> um, chemical name is 3,4-methylene-dioxymethamphetamine, which is why a lot of people call it ecstasy. Ain't the most worrying thing about these, though, that it actually make you enjoy house music? <laughs> yeah, you enjoy music, yeah. Is there a chemical inside it that actually make you dance like a bellend? <laughs> yeah. you, it makes you dance. What is it, that chemical it, called? Well, it's, it is, it's, it's the ecstasy, it's the actual chemical itself. How many E's can you take in one night and still be safe, if, it, if you have to do it? Uh, some people it. can take um, two or three E's and no problems. Because I has never ever taken any drugs and you can test me piss. But <laughs> I've got a mate called Dangerous Dave. You say and test me piss. <laughs> I ain't going to say his family name, obviously. But he say that he has taken 22 E's in one night. Did he have a headache? Did he feel... Well, 
he said he was like, you know, he found it difficult to get to sleep. Yeah. But the next day he was really buzzing. And actually, the people on the Egham to Rice Slip bus said that he drove it better than he ever done. <laughs> so, do you think it can actually help him? It wouldn't help you to drive a bus. Do you think it's ever right to give animals an E? Well, if you want to know more about a substance, I'd rather you gave it to uh, a Your rabbit pet. or a rat rather than uh, taking it yourself and testing it on yourself. For real, what if they look sad? Do you think it's right to give your animal an E then? <laughs> I don't think it would help. Because we met Jesse F once fed one to his dog and it went mental and started barking and then tried to bone the cat. <laughs> Possible. It's quite possible, yeah. Don't forget, um, one tablet is a lot for a dog. For real. Which is the type of acid that actually makes you fly? No acid makes you fly. But in Acid the... can make you think you fly. But in day one, because my mate Dave said he took this type and he flew all around the room and then his mum told him to get some ciggies from the shop <laughs> and he actually flew there down the street, you know, okay. in the buses yep. and flew back and was back in like five seconds or whatever <laughs> that he'd forgotten to buy ciggies. <laughs> hey, that's I'm the answer, cry. isn't it? You, you think things are happening to you. You, you may think you can fly, um, but your feet are still on the ground. They never leave the ground. And if you're not careful, you might trip up and hurt yourself. <laughs> So, with the old thing here, what is the lesson, the real lesson that people out there need to know? Substances, chemicals, <laughs> drugs, affect the way your body works. For real. Your body is beautifully constructed. Thank you. It works <laughs> very, very well. If you take any of these things, you run a big risk Thanks. of making it work not so well. All right. <laughs> oh my fucking god, oh, that was funny. Fuck, that's funny. Uh, uh, <laughs> we just, I don't know what this is. He face. even made the other guy crack up a couple of times too. He's like, he just kind of went. <laughs> Could you imagine though? Like, that guy's probably after. He's probably going, like, what the hell did I get myself into? Uh, oh. I don't know. That's just, it's freaking hilarious. Yeah. It's just hilarious. Oh my god. <laughs> Oh, okay. My friend Dave. He's probably <laughs> talking about himself. <laughs> he it to his dog and then, yeah. uh, and then his dog tried to bone the cat. <laughs> and the guy just went... <laughs> <laughs> we don't condone doing drugs, by the way, folks. So you know, don't get us wrong. Oh, no, nothing but... But we do smoke weed. Nothing but marijuana and, for us. And that's all as far as we're willing to go. But no, nothing but green. And yeah. it is legal here. It's legal here, yes. yes but I remember... Smoke responsibly. You know, don't, don't smoke and drive. I remember when he mentioned about the religion. Remember? Oh, if, yes, if it's your religion. Yeah, because we before it was legal here, we did have in North Bay a guy go to court and say it was his religion, and he won. He's from Sturgeon, actually. Yeah. yeah. And uh, he actually also tried to run for mayor, and he, he got a lot of following. Yeah, no doubt. Yeah, but he didn't win. No. Unfortunately, that would have been cool. Yeah, <laughs> I, I guess. <laughs> um, it's the religion for everyone in town. Now. Yeah, but the judge, <clears throat> the judge made it clear, and this is how it went. So he yeah. was allowed to smoke weed, but he was not allowed to sell it. No. And that was the point I think he was trying to make. Was But he was also allowed to gather for a religious purpose with other people and smoke it. Yeah. If they were part of his religion. Right. So, yes. so you can imagine the, yeah. the church sermons on those. <laughs> the stone philosopher. <laughs> the stone priest. Right. And no, it was not Brad. <laughs> Could you imagine though? Like... Like forming a religion around it, and yeah. uh, and doing I don't know. Pretty sure Cheech and Chong did. <laughs> I mean, pretty much everybody does that in their living room, anyways. And they did that. I mean, North Bay, like a lot of places in Canada and probably around the world, you know, the underground oh, yeah. weed thing before it was legal was you could get kids could get weed easier than they could get alcohol. Mm-hmm. And so it just shows that because people grow it. You know? Well, it shows that. That making something illegal doesn't stop it, right? Right. You know, it just like they tried to stop no. alcohol. They no. they yeah, tried to stop it, and just all it did was make a crime network. I don't know, but everybody died. else. But I've known plenty so, of bootleggers when I was younger. Yeah. You know, so people went to jail and were mm -hmm. stuck in jail forever over just a little <clears throat> possession. You know. 
except yeah they make moonshine which is a lot more potent than fucking yeah. regular shit yeah. so yeah. anyhow i think it's better that it's legal that makes it mm -hmm. you know at least you know you don't i don't even see like there's anybody no trying to sell it anymore like there's no reason why marijuana should be illegal no yeah. so well, anyways that was <laughs> fucking funny that was hilarious what that was a good giggle anyhow Good way to get things started. Yes. Yes. That was a good way to get things started. All right. We're on to the next one. We're going to do Borat next. So. Borat. 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 All right. Oh my God, this could be fun. See ya. Okay.